Welcome to uh, the next episode of uh, me building a rally bike. Uh, so the tank has been manufactured. I built the outsides and the center support. Um, a friend of mine uh, did all the welding and uh, actual, the hard part, bending all the, the metal and everything to get it to go. Um, I've shaved off the welds up here just so it sits up to the to the frame nicer. Um, it, it doesn't fit the frame exactly. That's not anybody's fault but mine. Um, and the reason I didn't grind off the rest of the welds is, you know, they look pretty. He did such a gorgeous job at, uh, at putting that all together. Um, this is gonna fit close enough for my purposes. Uh, I'm going to, uh, to um, mold it just a bit more so it, it fits in nice a little bit nicer um, <clears throat> pretty happy with that uh, these two aluminum bars are actually going to become the mounts and uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just prototyping the very first one and then I'll make three more so there'll be two per side um, I've had the uh, I've had the, the skid plate up against it it, it works really well um, there's actually enough room that I can put a little spigot in right in the in the corner here. Um, and that'll allow me to add water to it if I want. Right now, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Uh, just have it as a, a skid plate. Uh, but it is will be eventually set up that it can be a, uh, a water tank. So, be right back. So here, we're just going to face off this block. And uh, that's going to become the the first of the uh, of the frame mounts. Um, I'm not sure how much of this I'll show, but we'll uh, we'll get to facing. We'll just come on and just touch off on it. You know, half a bow. You see the way I'm doing this, I'm climbing all the time, climb milling, so what that does is it takes care of the burrs. So that's now side one. And you see, because it's climbed, there's really no burrs there at all. Um, so unfortunately, this is not the most expensive vise.
one little bar. Okay, so that's those two. Now I'm gonna um, flip it over, do the uh, do the edge, um, because now that I've got the upper and lower parallel to each other, these are parallel to each other. I can go up on the side, do uh, do all four edges. Um, actually, um, one thing I could do now, because everything is sitting in here parallel, this is one thing that uh, I've seen the guys do. I am not, I haven't tried it before, so I'm just gonna try it right now and see if it works. If not, I gotta cut another block. But basically, I'm gonna come down just about to the vise and then go around the edge, and uh, hopefully that'll parallel everything up without having to do too many more setups. So, that's as close as I'm going to get to my ways. And again, just a facing pass, nothing, nothing major. Unfortunately, this mill is not, uh, you know, it's made out of good Chinese steel, so it's not the, uh, it doesn't give the best finish going, but I'm okay with it. For uh, building dirt bike parts, it's just fine. So there we go. So now what we have here is top and bottom are parallel. And the only part that isn't, um, uh, isn't uh, even now or is this guy right there. So now what I'm gonna do is I can bring it down and use um, one parallel. And just go into here. And use the vise as the other parallel. Uh, then all I have to do is touch off on this guy, and then I can finish off my my long sides, and then uh, flip it up and do the short sides. So. And again, we're going to do this in the climb. So, so I'm going to touch off on the machine part. And just barely touch it. There we go, that's just barely touching. Now I can come over. And just because I don't want that line there. See, that's fully done. We'll do the other long side. Now, if all is right, that should be just touched off the way it is. Yeah. So 
because I had already set the height on the other one, all I had to do was come over and pick up off this guy. So you can see all it's doing is just making sure it's nice and level. There we go. It's that guy. Oops. So now we can do the short sides. Um, I'm not sure about this, but I believe I want to be in the center of the vise to get the best clamping force. Uh, because this is a little combination machine, I don't have a, a knee that comes up and down. All I have is the, the quill that comes in and out. So that's what we use. Again in the climb, so we'll try and reduce the burrs. Okay, so now if all is good, we should have all sides parallel to each other and everything 90 degrees, uh, so that everything's nice and square. So I will check that and uh, then I'm gonna start taking away everything that isn't a, um, an oil tank mount. I've just done some rough machining so far, nothing's deburred or anything. Um, uh, or chamfered or any of that. So basically this was my overall uh, drawing. Now you see it actually works out to 47. I said, ah, pff, round it up to, to 50 just for ease of measuring stake. Um, this 10 millimeters, that's this one. It's obviously not to scale there. So 10 millimeters there is good. The thickness is good. I like the thickness. I might actually Take that out to 12 just to give myself a few more uh, millimeters because I actually took uh, the raw stock is almost 13. I took this down to 10 uh, as you can see there and I, I might just take it down to uh, uh, to uh, take this down to 12 and I'll show you why. So I got the tank off right now. So you can see all I've done to this tank since I got it back from uh, from the welding shop, uh, well, fabrication shop. He does amazing fabrications. Uh, as I smoothened out these welds, you can see his welds don't really need to be dressed in any way, shape, or form. But I want this to fit right up to the frame, and then I'm going to put some EVA foam in there just to take up the gap that I put in there, um, simply because I, I want it to... Uh, uh, to be nice and quiet underneath the bike. So this is one of the spots where that guy goes. So that's the way it sits. Um, the problem is, is that my, one, my measurement was off. So this guy is too loose back and forth. And I thought I wouldn't have enough room to sneak in um, the full thickness. As it turns out, I can. So. I can get that in there and uh, that can be nice and strong, have a nice strong lip to pull from because uh, it's it's going to create a clamping force there. So I want to have uh, everything over. So I'm going to redesign it a bit, uh, take some more measurements and see where I screwed up again. This, by the way, is actually two of them there. It's going to be split down the middle as it's going to be. It's it's going to be a hand cut. Um, which I'll have to straighten out after. <laughs> so there you go, you can see right there, 
that's actually a better place to see it. So that's with the 10 mil on the inside. This is actually how it's gonna sit. I might take that out to uh, a little bit wider. And then you'll see the tank is actually, the, there's gonna be a mount on the tank. And uh, uh, the mount on the tank will actually crawl up the side of the frame because I, I want it to actually clamp. I don't want it to try and do this. Like I don't want it to angle once I start clamping down on it. So um, that's that's why this distance is critical because I don't. It's it's uh, it's got to sit nice and snug in there. So um, I might get at it tonight. I, it might not be till tomorrow night, but uh, we'll we'll let you know and uh, we'll see you then. Okay, so here we are again. This is take two. Um, you can see I actually tried to chamfer the, the use a ball end mill. One side I got okay, the other side I didn't. Um, still trying to figure out how to be a machinist. But, so now it fits in there. Um, there might be a mill clearance. I think on the next one, I'm gonna make it a bit tighter. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, the the it, it's grabbing a hold a lot better uh i think i might line it with eva foam just to to take up that one mil difference and and everything again this one is going to be split down the middle you can see actually since i came off the camera uh the first time i um i actually went to a wider and thicker material this is the old one was 12 mil thick this one's 18. um just to i can sneak 18 in uh, everywhere um, there. Once I split it um, lengthwise, I can fit it in there. The other side, same thing. I can fit it in one side right now and the other side uh, after I split it. Actually, there's a bunch of operations that have to be done yet. Uh, I have to drill in two 5.5 um, uh, millimeter holes, drill these for M6s. So basically I got to find the center of that. Um, these are 10 millimeters each. Uh, once that's done, I'll tap that on one side, um, create the um, uh, the mount that's going to go on here, bolt them together, tape up the tank, and then tack everything. Um, so that way, everything I know, everything is exactly where I want it, and then I'll be able to take it apart and uh, and do the final weld on it. Um, yes, I'm nervous about that. <laughs> so. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do at this same time is I'm actually going to take this guy off, get rid of all the rib nuts, and uh, one of one of these blocks is going to get welded on top and uh, then get threaded. Um, that way I'm not worried about ever losing it, and um, uh, I don't have that on the bottom side. So that's the only downside with rib nuts is that you have that. Um, washer kind of thing sticking out there which is how the rib nut holds it in there's no way around it but uh it's it's gotta go so that's about it for tonight thank you so much for watching and we shall see you next time